Faust. <laughs> the Mimi Faust song. Um, that just happened. That just kind of happened. Like, it was like the day all that shit came out and my people, shout out to, to Tori Gray. Like, yo, she... She's like, yo, did you hear about this Mimi situation? I'm like, yo, Mimi from MP about the hip hop. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yo, she got a sex tape out. And then I started to see all these videos on YouTube, everybody talking about it. I'm like, well, Stevie J, baby mama? I'm like, nah. This is the chick anybody out here rooting for. All of a sudden, she out here, ass out, literally. Ass out, she out here like this. I'm like, holy shit. And they ran the clips, you know what I'm saying? I seen the shower ride, I seen the head game, and I'm like, oh my god, like everybody was rooting for this shit. Like, because of Stevie doing what he was doing, and Justin and you know, that whole situation, like everybody was rooting for her because she was taking a whole lot of shit, and then. All of a sudden, this thing happens. And so, like, the next day, you know, I'm out there grinding. And, like, what happens as an artist, like, you just get lines, you get beats, you get ideas in your head. And I'm riding around town, and, like, these lines are just coming together in my head. You know, I'm going, me, me, that. Come get me, me, that. D. Gray, shit, well, what that D be about? We got a party of the steamy house. Ain't nothing like a cougar with a steamy mouth. <laughs> and it, it just kept, I was sitting there all day and it was like, cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. And you know, like, being an artist is all about um, inspiration. And so, if you got something, you know, you know, a lot of times an artist could be dry as hell. Like, I've gone through spells where like, yo, I can't come up with nothing. And like, this thing was just, piecing it's, itself together. I'm like, yo, I got, when I get home, I got to do something with this. Next day, next day I had off, I believe. And I started at like 10 in the morning and by like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it was ready to go. Like, so I don't want folks to feel like that was a, a situation of me trying to capitalize on something. That was just something that, that built itself together and I was inspired by it. But as I started to put it out, I started to notice other people trying to capitalize on this situation. And honestly, their attempts, like personally to me as a, as a musician and an artist, it, it, was, it was horrible. Nico, from me to you, I don't know you dog like that, but that whole shower ride song, all that, dead that, put that in the coffin, okay? You know what I'm saying? And, and you see, you talk about opportunities, like, when we get into that, when we see our, oh, all of a sudden there's a, there's a tape or there's a trailer, all of a sudden we need to make this song. Hmm. The worst, and then of course there was all these parodies and whatnot, but the worst thing I heard, worse than the, the shower ride song, was this song called Mimi on the Dick. And I just made these motherfuckers famous right now. But like literally it was some KOD fucking Club Onyx, you know, stripper bounce. And like for four minutes straight, it was Mimi on the Dick. Mimi on the Dick. Mimi on, I'm like, that's it? That, that's how far you go? I'm sitting here laying out an elaborate uh, escape of we're throwing a party and it's like an orgy party, all of that. And we taking turns and it's some sleeping with the angels type shit. And the best you could come up with is me, me on the dick. I know sometimes, you know, less is more, but God damn. But it's crazy because like that song got a crazy amount of hits in like five to seven days. And it was wild to me because I got stuff that's people still ain't heard that's sitting in a hard drive that's been in there for like a year and a half, two years that I'm just chipping away at like, you know, the statue of David and I take five hours out of a day and not only are the lines coming out like goddamn, you know, money into a cash register, but like 
It ain't take me no time to write them lyrics, make that beat, master that shit down, and have it to the people. You know, me, me, like, no, you did your thing, ma. But uh, at the same way I told other people, watch the company you keep. I say to you, Mimi, you got to watch the moves you make. Because a lot of times folks do certain things in the moment and they don't realize the long-term ramifications of the shit that they do, you know, for, for trying to get that 15 minutes, trying to get that moment. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'll catch up with you. But that that's how your official song came about.